Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Hero Engine tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding clouds to our dynamic sky. So the first thing we need to do, um, you can go to the render panel and turn on directional shadows. We need to go to our environment panel, which you can find by Windows Environment if you haven't done so already. We want to check Use Dynamic Sky. And I'm going to go into the fly camera view and I'm going to get out of this terrain window so I have a much bigger screen. Alright, so our sky, it's nice and all, you know. I mean, we can change it, hold on. But, you know, it's kind of, well, it's just kind of empty. It's not a whole lot going on there. So let's add some clouds. So let's go down to our cloud layer. And then we will add clouds. Now, as you can see, it created a very nice um, cloud system for us. And we can up the speed. We're just going to up the speed real quick just so we can see what's going on. And we can also change the heading that the clouds are moving in. Alright. So, the first thing we, we uh, want to do is we can increase the number of clouds. So I could set this, say, up to 400, which is kind of silly. Let's set this to, say, 25. That's a little bit better. And you can adjust the distance each cloud travels. We're going to leave this at 600. And you can change the size of every cloud. So we're going to have smaller or much larger. I'm going to leave this at 100. And you can also change the texture. However, oh, there are some provided textures. Let's load up cloud 2. And it didn't work. Do, do, do. Oops. Alright, so we have cloud one. Now, one thing I want to show you as to why you want to lower the clouds. Uh, if you go and change the time of day to pitch black, it's a very nice and a very nice night. Let's set that to 25, and then let's go back into our character view. Alright. Now you can add multiple cloud layers. So we'll add a second layer, and we'll put this one at, say, 10 as the total amount. And we'll put them up slightly higher. We'll make them travel much, much faster. And we'll change their size to say 150. All right. So you can keep doing this until you get your sky working right, and you can try different textures. However, I would I'd recommend keeping them at the same heading or near the same heading. All right. So that shows you how to make use of Hero Engine's cloud system. If you have any questions, uh. Feel free to stop by their forums if you have any questions about Hero Engine itself. If you have any questions about this video, please stop by my forums in the description. As well, please follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing and when the next tutorial is coming out. As well, uh, join the Facebook or Steam group if you would like to uh, chat with me or just ask questions like many others have done so far. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.